let me know down below which one you think I should read first out of all of these and then I'll probably still put it off and not do that but at least I have your input so Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay. Today I am here with my most intimidating books on my TBR. I made a goal or challenge with myself this year for 2021 to read more books that intimidated me, so I thought I would just share some of those books that I'm hoping to read that intimidate the fuck out of me. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> So most of these are actually series and that's why they intimidate me, but the first one is probably the books that intimidate me the most on my TBR. They honestly scare me so much, but they are the Stormlight Archives by Brandon Sanderson. Honestly, any Brandon Sanderson book terrifies me. I'm not very good at reading high fantasy books because my little brain is not smart enough for everything going on in these books. Like, I just cannot follow the plot and all the characters. Characters, and usually I can't even pronounce the characters names because they're so not normal names and it drives me crazy so I have to be in a very specific mood in order to read high fantasy books and these are like 1,200 pages each which is also terrifying to me because I just like reading shorter books because I just feel more accomplished when I read shorter books. If it takes me like three months to read a book, it bothers me. But my boyfriend gave me these for my birthday this year, so I feel like I really should read them because they were a gift. And that's also how my brain works. If somebody gifts me something, I feel like I need to get to it right away because like they spent money on it for me. My brain is a very confusing place to be, but yeah, these are probably the most intimidating, but I know that everybody loves them like so much and like Reagan from Peru's Projects praises them like crazy. So I just want to be part of that bandwagon, you know, but also I'm scared to be part of that bandwagon. <laughs> The next book that I have is also part of a series. It is Lady Midnight. This is part of the Dark Artifices, Artifices, I'm not 100% sure how to say that word. Series by Cassandra Clare. This is another one that like so many people love and adore. And I really did enjoy the Mortal Instruments series, but I just feel like it took me so long to read those books and I'm already so behind on these ones as well. And like Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron recently came out and I haven't even finished the series before that. So we're just so behind. When I'm behind on things, I just continue to procrastinate until it's like six years later and then, you know, nobody can come for me because it's so long after that everybody forgot who I am you know? Next is the Falling Kingdom series by Morgan Rose. I think there are like six or seven books in this series. I think six. I own them all, so it's not like I can't not start this series. I've just heard a lot of like mixed things about it, like people either love it or people hate it, and I don't want to be on the hating spectrum because I bought six books in the series, so I feel like it would be such a waste if I hate the first book and then I have five others that I need to read in the same series. But I always end up buying the entire series because I want to binge it and I hate if I really love the series and then have to wait for the next book to come out and the next book to come out and the next book to come out because my little brain doesn't remember details very well if it's been like six years since I read the first book of the series. So I just like to binge series so yeah that was a bit of a rambling explanation but yeah. It just scares me. Because... The next book is another one that terrifies the shit out of me because it is so freaking loved on booktube and I feel like I'm like the only person who hasn't read this series as a child. It is the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. I only have the first two books, but everybody read this when they were so much younger than me. Like, I'm 25, so this is definitely not, like, in my demographic like I'm probably too old for it and I'm probably gonna be like what the fuck this is so dumb and then I'm gonna feel bad if I hate it because everybody loves it so much and I don't want to be that like 25 year old being like I hate this book made for children because I'm not a child like no shit you know so it's just intimidating because I don't want to lie if I don't like it and say that I do like it because I'm not about that life but I also just don't want people to come for me for hating a children's book even though like I, I'm sure I will like it but you never know you know so it's scary 
And then the final book that I have is Seanan McGuire's Middle Game. And honestly, I'm not even 100% sure why I find this book so intimidating. Like, I was so excited to get the arc of it. Like, this is the arc. And Tor sent it to me and I like squealed like a little girl and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna read it next. And then I've just continued to put it off and put it off and put it off. I don't know if it's because it's big and the writing is pretty tiny, so that's just scary to me, but... I don't, I don't know why this one scares me so much. This one also has a lot of mixed reviews, like people either love it or they hate it, there isn't really an in-between. It also just sounds kind of confusing to me, so I feel like my little brain can't follow it, but I really want to like it, so I don't know. The goal is to read all five of these books, at least like the first in the series, and then if I like them, I'll end up binging the series because that's what I do. Alright guys, so that was my most intimidating books on my TBR. I could probably continue to pull more from my shelves because there are so many on my shelves that I just haven't read, like Throne of Glass series, the Grisha series, uh, Gemina and Obsidio. I read Illuminae, but then I never continued because they just scare the shit out of me. But, oh, God's Grave, the Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdoms and King of Scars, those all just, they're scary to me. So I finally did start a Darker Shade of Magic series, which also intimidated me because it's so loved on booktube, but I ended up really liking it. So that's kind of what prompted this because I'm like, what the fuck are you waiting for, bitch? Like, get on it. Gonna be a good time. So yeah, let me know which one you think I should read first and let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.